All right. So, you are saying critique everything except dozer. So, impact. Impact and fall. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. I'm going to go uh, and look at the dragon. All right. So, dragon. Cool. I like what you do with the wings. Watch out here. <clears throat> if you look at the spacing. So, I'm looking at that line here. So, it's here. Down here. Down here. Boom. Suddenly up. It's a one frame direction change that even if that has to happen somehow, at least then your tip will be here. A fantastic drawing. Look at this. It sucks. The balls. <clears throat> you know, even if this has so much force that it can change direction so quickly, which at this size and scale, I wouldn't, then I would at least have the tip really drag. Really drag. And then go up there. That's cool. The hole is cool. Cool. Start offsetting wings, which would be neat. Same thing here. Spacing is here, here, here. Boom, up. So another one frame pop. It feels like it hits a wall. So that is what to watch out. Intersections there. Same thing. Yeah, I just got to change the set a bit. So my two big things would be. This still feels the same in terms of the head going back where it's <clears throat> like this and then it just goes back into something going straight versus, you know, front view. Um, you're doing this versus potentially that. Like that's the arc, like a stronger, stronger turn and twist in the head. So it feels a bit more forceful, a bit more complex. It feels a bit simple. It feels a bit non-eventful, you know. cool though I love all that that's cool this feels well as you continue boom. the thing is imagine the speed and you have to kind of look at your top view right so however those are uh, the dragon is um, <clears throat> what I recommend is look at your flight con or whatever you have right and then look at the spacing like what is going on and imagine it would not hit dozer it will continue to fly this way and right now the feeling that I have is that you're doing, you know, this, this, and this, and then you're slowing down and you want to continue at that speed. And the thing that's going to make this impactful is that the body and the feet and the legs, everything, right, continues, boom, this way. So by now, change colors here. By now, this is correct, right? Grabs the thing, but your body would already be here. And then potentially the, the, the um, tail would be curved, the legs, one could be over here, one bent here. You know what I mean? Like it's like a car crash where where this whole backside continues. Boom. And I see a little pop here. Watch out. Spacing wise, fine, 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 fine. Boom. A little bit of a slowdown, one frame pop. And then it feels slow. All this here is you're easing in. And all that backside needs to continue. He's the creature's only taking the head. Right? And then if you look at spatially what the dragon's doing. The dragon's just staying put. By now, on this frame, that dragon head would be already here. With the body here, maybe legs could be here, tail would be awesome. My drawing here, you know, and some crazy wings. But I really want to feel that I'm going like this, and then suddenly, what the hell, I'm being pulled the other way, if that makes sense, right? It's going this way, and then suddenly a force takes the head over that way. And it needs to have that curvature. And that's kind of missing. So that, that impact between the two creatures is a bit too soft. Especially here, it, it feels like the creature is holding on to the dragon. And the dragon stays put versus dragon going this way. Those are going this way and really making that um, pull to the left work visually. Then I would probably do what you had before, right? 
a, a turn. This feels a bit weird. Not that it has to, you know, flip over. I don't know how many times, but it was cool to do at least one turn. Or at least when when it's here, turn enough that you know it's it's almost rolled over. We're seeing more of the belly. Um, you know, it's just, it just feels a bit just lands and slides flatly here. Which I'm not quite buying the physics. All right, and then those are watch out. This feels, I know it's hard and it's a tricky and a pain in the thing and a pain in the ass. Let's watch out that you want to get rid of moments where this just feels like the head con, the head joint just rotate it and it doesn't take anything with it. Basically, top view would be you know, a block of the head, the butt, and then I mean, body and the butt and then the head, and it's basically. Just taking the head and moving it over. <coughs> Excuse me. While keeping this aligned and ideally be head turned, then that, you know, you start having a bit more of a curvature in there, which I understand is a pain in the ass. But I have to mention it. Obviously, it's up to you how far you want to go. Even if it's, you know, adjusting that angle, so head looks over, so this will be more bent in that leg would be a straight up if that makes sense right but if you turn if you just turn the head that feels weird imagine you're turning i'm acting it out i'm turning the head more and i have my left shoulder going up while my right shoulder dips down if i look to my left behind me so that would be something there press is cool the mechanics are cool and all that stuff it's just just a little polish in the mechanics and things and then when it shoots what is it doing it shoots behind him like at that point would be cool to do a, bit, a little bit of a I wish I could draw eyes it's the mouth <laughs> ah it does this looks like nothing it just has a little bit of rah I mean it impacts right behind the creature right boom the creature's kind of like yeah whatever and then this just feels like a very interesting slide to the right. And you want to show that it it wants to go over this way, right? So you want to have a little bit of a same thing, tilt down this way with the body, right? So shoulder a bit lower here. The head can turn in Y a bit this way and then also tilt over. So just kind of leaning, basically. You want to have a little bit of lean over there body-wise. This just feels like it has a global translate. You know, and also what's weird is that if I look at this, foot is here, both feet are there. So this feels like it's actually pointing out this way. And it should be the opposite as you're turning this way. So it just feels like a weird slide. That's cool. Spacing, there's something off here. Watch out, like your head. If I track his nose. Up here, up here, up here. A little bit down, a little bit down. Boom! Crazy down. And then here you go one down and immediately up. So the thing is, this thing is not light, right? It's not a small creature. And it's not super cartoony. So this feels a, like a pop. You want to, instead of these frames up here, you want to use these frames to already go down and lead the whole thing with the head down. So it's, it's less of a that but it's already going down into this. You have a bit more anticipation in the head, brings down the body, softer, you know, direction change here. And then that's cool. The only thing I'm looking at here, there's a slight feeling of, instead of doing this, there's a slight feeling of this, that it loses that momentum to the right and suddenly goes up too much. It's like a one, two frame thing. And then the biggest thing is here. This feels like you're going up, boom, and then it pops to the right. You can see that if you track its man boobs here. It doesn't quite feel like doing this. It's going like, let's watch out for that. That's cool. Actually just saw, I don't know if you sent me that before for your reference, but I just recently saw it cat doing exactly that jumping over that that and then on the back wall 
to the side wall and then down and over. So crazy nice um, line of action there. That's cool. I love the timing on this. And this, maybe that could be two frames slower, your swing on the legs. As you can see, that leg is also here, here, this guy, here, and it's the same height, right? So your arc on the paw and feet is doing this instead of that. But it's very close. And then a little bit, you know, a bit of a work on that connection as I said before. Boom, boom, boom. Cool. Oh, I like the slide. Nice, and it bites something off there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, see, that's so cool. So it's not just the whole creature sliding back, but it does that little head turn so it continues its action. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. Watch out that it feels like it's slow and then accelerates to the slide and then slow again. So watch out for that. And then, by the way, thanks for putting in the rocks so we can see what is going on. So uh, let me know. This is all translate. I mean, all rotation. There's no translate. I'm just curious. Just because I'm looking at this rock here, this feels like almost we're translating back while we also rotate. Just let me know. Yeah, that's the only thing. Suddenly, it feels like it's not sliding to the right, and then here it starts to slide, and then it stops. Anything you can do, imagine like it hits, and does like a bounce slide you know where it's that impact shh, slide versus now it feels boom nothing shh, suddenly slide and stop that be picky i would say if you look at this foot and the knee the way it's pointing from here to here it feels like it's pointing the same direction. We'll probably rotate this foot out in Y. So the toes are going out this way and this upper part goes down in and the knees at the end pointing towards us a bit more. Not much, but it's just you get away from that feeling of this feels like a this actually feels like a 2D card translating over despite the you know stretching which is cool. Like see what you're doing here. That going over and that knee going up. I would do that throughout here, throughout that slide. And then I would make that up here. Watch out. It seems like you're overextending those arms to almost pop into an IK. Watch out. But I would go here, hold this for maybe two, three frames, or you know, and then use those and then take those two, three frames out of here. So it's a bit snappier. So you go here, hold, and then versus so it's more all right that's it very cool update thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you